Right, after the CAD design on the computer, this is the next stage, which is a printed head with a 3D printer. Um, this is a radial design, designed to get more thin area, taking heat from the central combustion chamber. Yeah, the point of doing it in 3D printing is that you can, they've 3D printed the barrel as well, they can assemble a complete top end onto an engine and then they can check for clearance with the frame, they can design a head cowling to suit. The second stage is rapid prototyping. So this is an, actually an aluminium casting that was made in a, in, on a printed sand core. It's got a dowel in the middle so it can be held for machining but the combustion chamber's not finished yet. This third one here is um, a complete, again, rapid prototype cylinder head ready for um, fitting on a barrel. It's already been made with a five millimetre step that sits inside the bore. The point of the large step is that it allows them to do different strokes. So we're going to be able to go up to 70 millimetre stroke. And with that, they can reduce the step inside the barrel So this is a, a cylinder model that's been made in 3D printing in two halves, which is why you can see the line down it. It's got uh, three studs holding the exhaust port on, which is an improvement on Lambretta by one stud. It's got a centre bridge exhaust port. The reason why they've moved to external studs on the cylinder is that normally on a Lambretta, the, the, the cylinder studs that go right the way through to the casing they would break into this exhaust port. So you can only get a full width by moving to this design where there's short studs here that mount the cylinder head. They don't pass down through there that allows you to give that enormous exhaust area. The most important thing for us with the new SSR250 kit is to make the biggest exhaust port of any Lambretta kit. We want it to be big enough to pass through a standard chicken egg. So now we want to demonstrate. We call that a partial success.